this kind of thing puts me at odds because I really don't like heights, but the view off of this bridge is pretty awesome. It's not, well, it shouldn't be scary, but I just have to keep telling my mind it's not scary. Although, it's starting to happen now. <laughs> So I've been staying out at a friend's off-grid community in the Olympic National Forest, and it's time for me to leave, but as you can see, uh, my hood is up. My hood is up because my battery is dead. So I should be taking off and moving on, but I'm stuck. So she's gonna come over and give me a jump. I was able to uh, get just enough internet to search around for a battery, and I did find one uh, at a town not too far away, uh, about half an hour away. So if we can get this going, I think it's just the battery. If we can get this going, my next stop is to drive down to the auto parts store and buy a new battery. Okay, that went really nice and easy. It started right up. It's a quick jump and now I can be on my way. Okay, looks like I am good and ready to go. I'm just letting the van warm up a little bit and I'm actually waiting for my maps, Google Maps, to uh, download the directions to get to the auto parts store. Uh, looks like it's about 35 minutes or so to get there. This is way out, way, way out in the forest. On one hand, it's nice to be out away from civilization, but then when it comes time to needing something like right now, a little bit of a pain trying to get all the way back into civilization, but I think I have just a bad battery. I did take my meter out and check the alternator output and the alternator is charging. It's just the battery's not holding a charge. So I'm pretty confident it's just a bad battery. So now I just need to get out to the closest town 35-40 minutes away and go buy that battery. Actually I better think things through here. If I've got a 35-40 minute drive I'm not gonna need a coat and a jacket on. Let me take this one off. And uh, one of the funny things about this van is I, uh, I need to keep the passenger seat buckled because if I don't, it for some reason thinks that there's somebody in the passenger seat, even though I don't have anything on the seat. And uh, the alarm will go off saying, you know, put your seatbelt on. So remember to do that. Okay, now I'm ready to go. Well, it is a gray, gray day out today. Supposed to be on and off rain showers all day long. Uh, yesterday morning was pretty nice. Uh, it kind of got darker during the day as the day went on. And then it rained pretty much all night last night. But um, I was happy to see some sun yesterday morning because I was able to pull in quite a bit of solar, which was great for my house battery. Uh, today, probably not going to get much in the way of solar gain on my house battery, so uh, looking at one battery problem at a time now. Not that my house battery's been a problem. Um, it's been just sunny enough for long enough that I've had just enough power without having to worry too much about things. Uh, but we've had quite a bit of rainy days and you know that is to be expected this is the Pacific Northwest this is winter time and I actually enjoy the rain but do keep in mind I lived for 40 years in the desert so I feel like I can't complain when it's cloudy and rainy and cool because uh, I did a whole lot of complaining years ago dealing with 120 degree heat and unrelenting sun and uh, and wind and all that comes with living in the desert. So I can't complain about this. I'm, I'm actually enjoying it. Okay, we're in the little town of Shelton, and this is a town I'm not too familiar with. I've been through here in the past, but it's been quite a while. But this was the closest full-size town that 
had auto parts stores and things to my friend's property, so this is why I chose to come here. Right oh, good, and thank you, Siri. I'd be lost without you. Well, I sort of messed up. When I called here yesterday, I didn't specifically ask if they were giving me a quote on an AGM battery, and RAM specs an AGM battery for these vans. So when I got here, I remembered to ask, and of course it's not an AGM battery because it was such a good price. Um, so they did some checking, and um, they do have an AGM battery, but it's $240. There's always something, isn't there? It's always something. So I'm gonna, just to make the process easier, I'm gonna take the battery out, the, my old battery out, take it in, and then pay for it so I don't have to go back with a core charge. Uh. You know, RAM does not make this easy. Uh, maybe this is just a Chrysler thing. Maybe this is all car companies, but they sure make that a lot more difficult than it needs to be. Let's see if it starts up. Good stuff. Works. Thankful. So if that's $260 for a battery from a place called Cut Rate Auto, what is the regular rate at other battery shops? Um, I think when I bought the last battery from Napa, that was about five years ago or so, uh, it was it was three hundred dollars. I think it was just exactly three hundred dollars. So I didn't really want to go to Napa, um, and I figured with the name like Cut Rate Auto, it'd be much cheaper. Yes, it's a little bit cheaper. That's what Cut Rate means. Okay, I need to go find a place to park and make a cup of coffee so I can clear my head a little bit. Well, this works. This is just a couple of blocks down the road here. And this is kind of an interesting little park. If I was a kid, I'd probably love this place. Well, I've been so caught up in my battery drama, I've been thinking about my other battery. And look, look at the sun. This is quite incredible. Pulling in quite a bit of power now, I would assume. Um, especially considering they said it was going to be rainy all day. Overcast and rainy and dark. So uh, this is not a bad day, other than having to buy an expensive battery, of course. Oh, it's a disaster area in here. Whenever I go off-grid, I seem to let the van kind of go, and I don't keep up on things quite so much. When I'm cooking something, of course I clean up my pots and pans and my dishes and everything, but that's really just because I only have one pot, one pan, uh, one plate, one bowl, two sporks, though, mind you, but sporks are important, of course. Uh, and but everything else seems to get, yeah, I lost track of my, my thought process there. Everything else I kind of let go, so it's filthy in here. Everything's disheveled and I, the van needs a good sweep. Um, I'm gonna get some coffee on first, but I should probably make some lunch too. I haven't eaten anything yet today. Well, I'm feeling a little bit anxious uh, because I've been off the grid for the last several days. I feel like I'm behind on everything. It feels like I've got a lot to do. Um, it's only just now noon, well, almost noon. Uh, so I've got time to get stuff done, but uh, just feel like I've got a lot to get done. I check my emails quickly. There's a lot of those to get to. I'm way behind. I'm always behind on emails, but now I'm really behind. And I've got all kinds of other stuff to get done. I need to just find a place to park for a little while that has service so I can get caught up on all that stuff. Maybe I'll uh, search for that, search for a place 
that I can do that. Um, this is a nice spot here, but I would like a place that maybe I could just park and spend the night at so I don't feel rushed and I can get at every little thing I need to get done and focus on all those little things, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So my friend gave me some nice multigrain bread, so I thought I would use some of that and some meatballs I made the other day and maybe a little cheese and make a little sandwich out of this. It'll be quick and easy and then I can get back to things that I need to get to. Well, I think the idea of this appeared better in my mind, but this is fine. That's lunch. I think I'm going to make another cup of coffee. It's been a few hours. And, oh, the one thing I didn't get done was my email. I didn't get anywhere on my email list. That's going to have to be for another day. There are a ton of emails in there, and I just freak out every time I look at them. So I'm not going to freak out anymore today. I'll do that another day. Um, so my only thing is I'm not really sure where I want to go. Uh, it's been so nice being out just in the forest, not in the city, for the last several days that I'm not really sure I want to go back to the city. But, of course, things are easier for me in the city because I don't have to think about much. don't have to think about food or water or anything like that. The other thing is um, power is a little bit on my mind these days. I probably talked a lot about that today. Um, too much uh, but there are a couple of places not too far away from where I am right now here in Shelton uh, that I know of that are good camping spots only problem is they're all tree covered and so I did spend a few minutes looking for some camping that would not be tree covered and I just can't really find anything um, it's hard to tell you know with with just Google Maps and all. So, I'm not, I'm not, I'm thinking it may not be a, a good idea to go out to the forest right now and camp under some trees, being that we've got such short solar days. So, um, I think I will, I'm just getting some coffee ready. Probably should have put the kettle on earlier. I can't think of two things at once. Um, obviously, right? Uh, so I'm gonna make some coffee, check the map again, think about maybe another place that I can go, but I'm kind of tempted to just go back to the city, just find a small city, town, city, whatever, uh, and just go there. That way I can catch up on all the internet related things that I need to catch up on, because I'm still behind, obviously, with that email list. It's probably growing still. I'm not looking at it until at least tomorrow. <laughs> I was going to swap out uh, this coat for this lighter jacket, but it's getting chilly enough and I'm always so cold. I'm just going to put this coat on over this jacket. I'll probably want that in a bit anyway. It's starting to get dark. And now I'm thinking, I probably didn't do this correctly. I should have put a little effort into uh, deciding where I was going to go tonight instead of trying to get things done that uh, I felt like they needed to get done. Well, some of them I thought maybe are better to uh, solve now. I wanted to make sure that the battery was the issue with the van and not... Uh, the alternator and I actually got out my uh, my meter this is just just a cheap little volt meter and I think everybody should have one of these it's really nice to have one of these if you're trying to diagnose solar problems or battery problems but this morning well yesterday when I realized I had the dead battery um, I wasn't able to utilize this fully because all I could tell with this was that my battery was uh, depleted and not holding a charge and that's all I knew uh, but once I got the battery running today and drove it a little bit I could tell that the alternator was actually charging 
by using the voltmeter. So I think everybody should have a voltmeter on hand and available. You don't need to know how to use it. You just need to know how to look up on YouTube. How do I use my voltmeter? That's all you need to know. And if you don't have one, then all those helpful YouTube videos don't help you. So that's what I do. Um, I am just using this for basic stuff, but it definitely was worth buying. Well, I just don't really feel like going back to the city or staying here in this little town. So I think I have enough time before it gets dark to get out to uh, Olympic National Forest. I'll just get right to the edge of it. Hopefully there's nobody else camping there. If there is, I'm not going to want to stay there. I guess I could always just come back here, park for the night. But it's only about a half an hour drive from where I am right now in Shelton. So I think it's probably the best thing to do. If I don't go to the National Forest, I'm going to be upset. Because uh, I just don't want to do any city life for at least another day or two. So that's the plan. here. Uh, the road did get a little rough and then the rain started, but I made it back here. Only problem is the spot that I was thinking of parking, there are a bunch of people over there and it's directly across from me right now. Um, I'm not so sure I want to stay here. I could. I just got out, walked around a bit and made sure that I was actually on National Forest Land here but um, I kind of feel like I'm invading their space a little bit. Although, looks like they've been here for quite a while, if you know what I mean. Uh, I think though, since I'm right here, so close to the spot that everybody comes to look at, what is called the High Steel Bridge. So let's go see if we can see it before it gets dark. As I was driving in, I was thinking that I could park here, but then that sign kind of made me think maybe it's not a good idea. Plus, there's a little bit of a dip and quite a bit of water here. Otherwise, up here it looks like a good spot and I could probably park here. It looks like other people have, but again, that sign has me kind of warned away a bit. Plus, uh, there's a little bit of a divot here. I just don't really have the tires for driving off roads, even though there's gravel here. My tires just don't quite grab quite so well. And I don't have a clutch. I just have a automatic. So it makes it a little difficult in driving off road sometimes. If I had a clutch, that'd be another situation. This kind of thing puts me at odds because I really don't like heights, but the view off of this bridge is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm hoping that with the fog, it kind of uh, makes it easier on my brain to accept that it's all safe and sound up here. Uh, this bridge is actually drivable. Uh, in fact, as I was walking up here, a big truck, full-size truck drove by and drove across the bridge. So it's not, it's not, well, it shouldn't be scary, but I just have to keep telling my mind it's not scary. Although, 
it's starting to happen now. <laughs> I know it's illogical and, and I should just be able to get over it, but um, this is high. Yeah, the views off both sides of this bridge are just incredible. Even when it's rainy, like it is now, it's just incredible out here. There's a gorge that is, I think, always running with water. And on a clear day, you can really see it quite clearly. It's quite impressive, but it's impressive right now. Although this is about as close to the edge as I can get, unfortunately, without uh, my brain just going haywire. Yeah, I'm sorry I can't give you any better shots than that. I just can't get any closer to the edge. Uh, plus, it's getting dark quick and I gotta get hiked back to the van and figure out another spot to park. Because I don't wanna park across from those guys. Um, that's basically their home, it looks like, so I don't think I want to invade their space. Although, you know, this is a national forest, so there should be enough space for everybody. But I'd feel comfortable parking someplace else. And here comes a car right now going across the bridge. Okay, back to the van and find a place to live tonight. Okay, made it back to the van here. Um, it's not raining that hard, but I'm sure some of you are going to get after me and tell me, why don't I put my hood up? I did for a minute, but I can't see. Um, this is a REI rain jacket and it was really cheap. It was on like 50% off sale or something or, or even better, I think, when I bought it. Anyway, um, I really like it. It's fully waterproof. It's great. Uh, it's the Mount Rainier um, model of the REI rain jacket, which I think they still sell. Um, and I really like it, except that the hood just doesn't work very well. It kind of pokes me in the eyes and then I can't see anything. So unless it's really cold or really rainy, I just don't use the hood. So there, you can uh, you can know that before you get after me. Now, um, I think I passed a couple of places that I could park farther down. Um, so I'm just gonna head back down there so I don't have to park across from these guys' house. Uh, there's probably some places to park on the other side of the bridge too, but I'm just, really not wanting to drive over the bridge, to be quite honest. So I'm just going to go back the other way. Okay, this is going to be home for tonight. And I found the spot just in time, I think, because the rain is starting to come down pretty good. Um, I am pulled off the road. A little hard to show you that in such uh, darkness out, but um, I am pulled off the road. I'm in a little turnaround area for uh, logging trucks. There's a logging road just on the opposite side of the forest service road here so I should be fine here I'm off the uh, little turnaround enough that if a logging truck comes by I'm not gonna block them they've got plenty of room to swing around so I think this is good for me um, I would have liked to be closer to uh, the bridge over there just because I was gonna walk out in the morning with a cup of coffee but um, there's no reason I need to I already went over there and scared myself so I don't need to really do that again um, I might go back tomorrow. And then I did want to point out how I found this spot is I just looked on Google Maps for this area and then I checked to see if this is actually National Forest lands by using a GPS app. And there's a bunch of them out there that will show you uh, public lands. So they'll show you all public lands and I just verified that this was actually National Forest land. And then when I get up here, I open up the map again and since it works off GPS I don't actually need a cell signal although oddly there's uh, cell service here uh, better cell service than at my friends where I was at this morning very strange but um, happy to have a little service just in case but uh, yeah so I just use Google Maps and then that uh, app that GPS app that just shows me public land that way I know that I'm legal although out here I bet that you could probably park anywhere and nobody's really going to get after you, but I do like to just try to be legal 
when I can, which is usually always uh, once I come out here. It's, it's just a small step just to make sure you're actually on public land. That you might as well just do it. Uh, when I bought this rain jacket, I didn't use it for the longest time. And for a little while I was thinking, you know, why did I waste money on this? Um, but I've been using this for the last couple of days and I've been really happy to have it. Uh, I, uh, I do have this down coat that I've been wearing a lot lately. And this I really like. I've been really happy with it. Um, but I am always a little bit concerned that it's not just going to shed water and seep through and get the down wet and then I'll be in trouble. So um, probably really nice that they work so well together. Um, the rain jacket's big enough that it can cover me even if I'm layered up like I am right now with heavy jacket, a light jacket. Uh, sometimes I wear two light jackets and then this down coat over top. I told you I'm always cold. I'm always cold. <laughs> okay, so I need to figure out something for dinner. I might as well eat up this uh, multi-grain bread that my friend gave me. And I'm tempted to do a grilled cheese sandwich because that seems to be what I always do, right? I always eat grilled cheese every single day. Well, I kind of ate that earlier today, didn't I, for lunch? Because I kind of did a grilled cheese sandwich, but then I threw those meatballs in the middle. Um, I might do that. Or maybe I should look through my pantry and see if there's anything a little bit more nutritious. Give me a moment. You know I'm just going to eat a grilled cheese, right? It's just I don't I don't know why I even pretend to look for anything else. <laughs> okay, I know I was gonna get something more nutritious on the menu tonight, but I forgot I have two hot dogs left to eat. Um, I bought these because they were really cheap, and I mean really cheap. Um, but they are organic and grass-fed hot dogs, as if that makes a difference. They're still hot dogs, right? But uh, I bought them. I'm gonna eat them. Finish off this pack. Uh, still going to eat the bread, and maybe I'll find something else nutritious to go along with these, but i got to eat these. Okay, this is not terribly exciting, but I just uh, browned off those hot dogs, chopped them up into pieces, and then threw in some uh, frozen mixed vegetables, and then I... Liven them up a little bit with half a pack of gravy mix. I wanted to try this because I can't remember if I've tried this brand before. So this is a test to see if I like this brand. And lots of fresh cracked black pepper on top. And then I did uh, toast off a couple pieces of that multigrain bread. So nothing exciting, but um, I worked in a restaurant for 10 years and it seems like after all that time, I really kind of like simple food better than just complicated stuff. So this suits me just fine. Let's see how that gravy is. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> well, last night I ran my heater all night long and it really wasn't cold enough outside to have the heater on all night. Uh, I had it on low but it was still pretty toasty in here. I probably should have shut it off. Uh, but the nice thing about running it is it dried out all my wet clothes. So like I've got my my uh, rain jacket hanging up here that's just sopping wet and uh, my jeans are a little bit wet. Um, so I'm kind of thinking, do I really want to wake up with wet clothes in the morning or do I want to run my heater and wake up with dry clothes in the morning? But I think it's going to be about the same or even a little bit warmer tonight, so I probably shouldn't run the heater or I'll be waking up sweaty again. And that's just silly. Well, I decided to run the heater for just a few minutes. I'm not going to run it all night. It'll be too warm for that, but I am going to run it for a few minutes and just dry out everything in here. That way I don't have a bunch of wet clothes to wake up to. Uh, which is definitely worth running a little bit of heat for a little while. Plus, I'm liking a little bit of heat right now. It's just starting to warm up here. Um, it's weird that I 
actually have internet way out here. I can actually watch a YouTube video. I was thinking maybe I should watch a ASMR video before I go to bed like I usually do. And then I thought, I don't really need it, do I? I've got natural ASMR listening to the rain hit the roof. <laughs> I've got both. <laughs> it's a nice place to be. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it.